What's up guys, I want to show you how to set up OpenVPN on your iOS device running the latest firmware. Uh, I am jailbroken, so I am able to do it from the device. If you are jailbroken as well, you can do it from the device. If not, you will have to do this with a PC or Mac, and I will do another version on that later on. So if you are jailbroken, you do want to use OpenVPN. Um, I'll show you how to import the files. So. Um, for this tutorial, I'm actually using private internet access. So what you're going to want to do is go into your client support. This will be for most, if not all, um, different VPN services because what you'll be looking for here is the open VPN configuration files, their default. So click on that. Like I said, if you have been jailbroken and you have iFile installed, you can actually open um, this in iFile. So, what you want to do once it's in opened in iFile, it's going to be put in your documents. Um, go down to the little gear here. Oops, not the little gear. Yeah, first go into the little gear here and make sure this application's toggle is on. You can also turn on a few things, like I don't like to use the trash and I like to show hidden folders. So you can just set that right away. And then um, from here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go edit, open a folder, and name it VPN or whatever you really want to name it. And then the dot .zip that you got, you're going to want to edit and select it. Go to the clipboard here and go cut, finish, go into VPN, go edit, a little pasteboard, paste it. Now you can click on it and on archive. It's going to spit out a bunch of files. So depending on where you are, for the purpose of this video, I'm not really going to show where I am. I'm just going to pick France. So what you're going to do here is go edit, pick the VPN you want, and then grab the ca.cert. Go to your clipboard and go cut. Back. So you want to go back to your documents. Now this is where it's always going to take you when you download something. So you only need to go back one to mobile. And right here you'll see applications. Now before I went into the gear here and turned this off, this is what you're actually going to see. Uh, you're not going to be able to find the OpenVPN app unless you open every one of them or you just get lucky. So just go in here and turn this on. That way you can just easily scroll down and find OpenVPN. Then what you're going to want to do is go into Documents and then Edit, the Pasteboard again, and go Paste. So now we've added the firmware VP or the, I'm sorry, the certificates to OpenVPN. We're done with the iFile. You can close it. And now that all that's finally complete, we can go into OpenVPN. You can see I have a VPN on right now, but I can also now import this profile. So you click the little plus here. And then um, when you go to choose your profile, if I were to sign out here, I don't want to sign out and show my login or anything. Basically, what would happen is you'd be prompted for your user and password. And then make sure you save your details and then click connect. You'll see the little VPN icon come up. If it's your first time connecting to the VPN using OpenVPN, you have to, um, you'll be prompted, do you allow this to set up a VPN connection? Make sure you click OK. And then your internet will be secure on your iPhone. So that's how you uh, install and use OpenVPN. Um, this was specifically done on private internet access, but like I said, um, the open VPN configurations are normally default for most VPN providers and you will be easily able to find them on their websites. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Keep on a VPN and we'll see you guys next time.